Hey, well, welcome to my house. That's right, we're here at Canyon Lake, California, where I live, and I love it here. And this week's spotlight is a 1950 Chevy pickup owned by Jesse Chavez. There's a lot, a lot, a lot of detail in this truck, and there's a lot of things that I can go over and try to pick out, and I'm gonna start with the motor. We put an LS3 in it with a comp turbo. We did a 4L80 trans. We did a Mustang 2 from TCI. We did a four link in the rear from TCI. We modified the back a little bit to make it go lower, but it did snap notch. And uh, the paint is Createx Colors Pearl White, shot over white base. Um, the guys over there really hooked it up with us and uh, made this color for us. And I hope the camera gets a, as good as look as I am right now, because this thing is just like popping off at me right now. So let's go into the specifics is the trim. But Jesse had an idea and we were going to do that kind of copperish color. And then we decided, you know what? Everybody's doing that. Let's come up with something, that, something different, something better. Jesse then had an idea of, hey, why don't we do shiny paint with a rusty trim? And I was like, nobody does that. That's a great idea. So as you know, or may not know, a lot of this trim is stainless. Some of it is aluminum and some of it's steel. So we couldn't make it rust all the same. So we actually patina painted this. We used airbrushes, paint, paint guns, paint brushes, sponges, sandpaper, and then we matte cleared it all. So it looks originally old rust, although you can't make stainless rust or aluminum. So that's how we got this finish. Um, this is uh, Jesse's pride and joy. And the funny part is, I wanna tell you a story on how we actually got to this truck. One day, Jesse was going down the freeway and this 50 Chevy, I think it was like a 53 actually, come flying by him about 120. And Jesse calls me, hey dude, this truck just flew by me at 120. I want my truck to do that. So that's when we went and decided, hey, we're gonna put an LS in it, comp turbo, all that good stuff. This sucker hauls ass, does killer burnouts and flies. I'm telling you, this truck gets it. So next time he sees that truck on the freeway, you know he'll be passing him. <laughs> so anyway, let's get back to specifics. Um, we're running 20 inch Toyo tires uh, with the white walls. All the bedwood, I actually, it's just a stock bedwood kit that you buy at like Brothers or one of those shops. Um, but I personally went through and I took a wire wheel and I wire wheeled it all because I wanted the grain to pop out. And then we stained it all uh, to kind of give it that vintage old like it's been in the weather a long time. Um, we put a fuel cell in the rear and kind of a trick thing that we did is we put the gas filler neck, we raised the bed floor, we put the gas filler neck underneath of it. That way, you can't see it. You can still use the bed if you want to throw some chairs back there, a cooler or whatever, if you want to go to a show. The stereo is loud as heck and pounds, I love it. Uh, it's so much fun to drive. For the air ride system, we put AccuAir with a V4, two by air compressors and a five gallon tank. We're running the E-Level and uh, we have a little controller mounted under the dash. So in the interior, we used a Dakota Digital Gauge. It's a HDX gauge. It's really bitching, especially with the new motor and tranny. Uh, when you plug everything in, it actually gives you a diagnostic and everything on the gauges It's pretty sick. It's got two little uh, screens in it. Those guys at Dakota Digital have it going on. Um, AC system, we put a rust mod underneath the dash. We have a couple hidden vents and we painted, patinaed all the knobs so you can't even see it. I want it to look somewhat stock. That's why we kind of hid the knobs and hid the vents because I don't want people to really know, like look in and go, oh, this has AC. Of course they know when you drive by at 110 degrees out and your windows are up and you're nice and cool. <laughs> so under carriage, we went ahead and powder coated the whole chassis. We bed lined the bottom of the cab to give it one sound deadening and two seal up for any rust. Uh, when we stripped down the truck, we did have some major stuff that we had to fix, some rust some previous patch panels and that kind of stuff. Rear end is a Ford nine inch. So we powder coated all that after we welded all the brackets on. So this truck is just as good looking underneath as it is on top. Another specific thing I did is I had my boy Styles, a SoCal pinstripe and come down and he actually put Chavez edition on the logos on the side of the hood because this is definitely a def Jesse Chavez edition. Uh, we had him fill in the Chevrolet and a few other things just kind of give it that little extra pop. Well, that's it, ladies and gentlemen. Another badass truck, and I love this one. This is my favorite, so comment down below. Is this one of your favorite spotlights? Or maybe uh, Andy's truck was one of your favorite spotlights, or the Lincoln. Let us know below, because we really want to know how we're doing and what you think, and man, like, subscribe, tell your friends. I lost the flip-flop.
<laughs> That's funny. So now, let's see what this baby can do. Because she can haul the mail. <laughs> 